this is what your site will look like. This is the design. Okay, now, um, you can change the words on here really easily. Put the name of your site, like, okay, so man, rules. <laughs> okay, so, um, put in your motto or whatever, and there you go. Um, you can change the, uh, the, um, nav bar up here, homepage, blogs, you can change it to whatever you want. And the way that you link this to things is down here in, a, in the link bar, uh, you're going to type in the link. Now, hold on, we'll get to that in a second, and I'll explain some stuff about that. I realize I'm going kind of fast, but I'm going to need to get through this. A lot of the stuff you'll understand by doing simple you know, just fiddling around. Alright, one of the neat things is up here in the title section, you can change what it says up at the top, uh, right here, like here it says end view download and template preview. By the way, I forgot to mention, I'll put this in the description for you. Okay. Um, yeah, this is what it's going to say up here. So for here, we can type queso man rules web page. And then what you would do is you can click preview and yes, save it, and then it will open it up what it would look like online. And here you go. And so you can see it says Case of Mandrill's web page and all this, and see it's got these highlight. That's part of the CSS template that you downloaded. Okay. Now down here you can edit all this stuff however you want. This generally takes some serious time. Like it took me to make my whole website probably a month, not straight of course, but you get the idea. And um. Yeah. So now what we're going to do is learn how to make another page. Okay, so once you've made your whole index just the way you like it, you save it, and then what you're going to do is you're going to upload it to your site. Okay, now with uh, att.org, the easiest way if you're just down uploading a page is click Upload Files in the uh, File Manager. And close like that stupid thing. I don't know why I get that. Click Browse and then navigate to where you saved it. This one's called Squarely. And there's the index. All right, it'll click here, you click Upload, and it'll automatically put it on your site. I don't want to do that because it'll be funky in line. But yeah, then you'll see it somewhere on here. There you go, you've already made the home page to your site. Make sure it's this one is called Index, because that'll, uh, that'll make it so that when you type in the URL for your site, that's what'll come up first. Okay, now that you've made that, what you're going to do is you're going to open this up, and uh, now that you've saved it, what you're going to do is you're going to X out of it. Well, yeah, I guess. Just leave it, actually. Um, what you're going to do now is you change it. Now that you've made the um, index and you've saved it, now you can start doing whatever you want, uh, calling it something else. Like if this would be like photos or whatever, you can type photos here. And then you could start uh, putting pictures, stuff like that, down here. Then what you do, once you've made that page the whole way you like it, you go ahead and you save as, open up here, and call this photos. And it'll save it as the HTML. So now you have photos in here. Once again, just go to the site, browse, and now you click photos and upload that. Okay, now that you've made a second page, what you're going to want to do is open back up the index and you're going to want to make it so that the navbar link links to the photo page. Okay, well, how you're going to do this is you highlight the photos in the navbar. Go down here to where it says link. Type in the link for the photos page. Now, in this case, if you upload it, you to find out what the URL is, the easiest way is to right-click on the page that you want to link to and click copy link location. Then what you do is you open this up, and you can just paste it right in there. There you go, it puts the link in there, so that when you click on that, that's what'll open. Now, one of the neat little tricks that I've learned, when you want to open the new page that you click on in a new tab, what you hi or click on this drop-down bar is uh, underscore blank. That'll make it so that it opens in a new tab. Um, if you want to see an example of this, go to uh, my website
and click on the forums tab. I have the forums open in a separate tab so that you can easily navigate back to the site. Okay, so yeah, uh, this will open up my site. Uh, click on the forums tab and you'll see that this opens in a new tab. And then it'll open up my forums. When it gets to that, sorry, this is lagging because I'm shooting the video. But, um, yep. Yeah. And then you get here, and remember, you can always get on here and uh, become a member, post on my forums, that'd be really cool. So yeah, um, it opens up the site. Now, um, now that you know how to do that, there's a couple other tips and tricks that I wanted to tell you. Um, oops, okay. Um, a neat little trick is, uh, once you're, uh, into actually like making your web page and stuff like that you can go into the code and here and there edit a couple things that you might know like um like these things obviously need division in the page and this is what causes these little spaces in here so you could if you need some extra space you could add those in there or whatever most of you're going to be able to do from design though um all right uh fave icons okay uh, one of the coolest little things, I, uh, actually might do a separate, more in-depth tutorial about this, uh, but you notice on my site, let's see if we can actually open this thing again this time, it took so long last time, um, you see this little icon up here? See how it's like a machine gun shooting repeatedly? Yeah, um, that's called a favicon or fave icon, this is like a favorites icon, all these things like right here, these are all favorites icons. Um, the way you get your own one of these is you, um, there's uh, sites that make ones like uh, favicon.cc and uh, you can get those or you could make your own saying like paint or Adobe Fireworks or whatever and then resize it. The I, I believe the correct size is that it has to be 16 by 16 pixels and it has to be an uh, .ico file. Now what you, once you get this uh, file you go to here and you once again browse for it. I think mine that I used or w one of them is in my pictures. See Favicon, there's one. Um, and you upload that. Now what you do is you go into here and well, let's see I might need my other thing because I don't have the I don't have it memorized. 